I was gonna... I was thinking about tie-dyeing some clothes, but then I had an idea. What if I try and tie-dye some paper and try to make this aesthetic pastel notebook, right? I don't know how it's gonna turn out because I think the better option would probably be using watercolors, but I kind of like the idea of tie-dyeing them. And I have this little bottles of fabric paint that I think they came from Five Below. It was a gift. It's like pre-measured already. Just add water, shake them up, and just go to town. So I want to use them because I don't really have to do like, too much white clothes to tie-dye. And I just want to tie-dye things. So I have this cake pan that I'm going to use. And let's try it out. I think this might be very pigmented. This might be a bad idea because the paper is going to disintegrate. I don't know why I thought it was going to be a great idea. And the yellow looks like this. Hmm. Hmm. I should have. You know what I should have done? Let me go find a spray bottle. So, yeah, I think paper maybe not the best um, idea for it. Not ideal paper. And now we're going to. That is a lot of water. Ooh, that's fun. Ooh, what if we just put dye on the on the pan itself and then we just dip the paper like this? My idea is spritz the pan itself with water. Right? Do a bunch of this and this. Do you see what I'm getting at? That's yellow. So what I think is gonna happen that if I press down the paper on top, it's gonna make some kind of pattern, right? We're gonna see. And hopefully it doesn't turn out poopy brown. We're gonna just pop it out down. Ooh, that's fun. Ooh, I like this. <laughs> I think I'm getting somewhere. I think I like it. Ooh, look at the other side. Ooh, look at the other side. Ooh, I like this. And now we can do it again. Eh, that made it really poopy brown. I don't like that, but. Oh no, I contaminated the other one with poopy brown. Let's wipe it. See what happens. Big bubbles. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. Yep. Some like this. Yup, yup, yup. Make them like marble paper. So I just want to show you what they look like. I cut them in half and they are turning out pretty nice. I think it's going to be a cute little notebook for some ooh pastel aesthetic goal notes. <laughs> this though, these are my favorite. These are the soap bubbles ones. And they look so nice. They're like marbly. You cannot see them whatsoever. They're so delicate. Uh, 
Oh, it makes me happy. It's like, it kind of makes me think of like, vaporwave kind of stuff. Some of them look like a mess. <laughs> but I'm okay with it. So, I have brainstormed a little bit last night on what to draw and I think I came up with something. It is absolutely disgusting and probably is done by someone. Like I didn't really take too much inspiration from anywhere but I'm sure it's been done already. It's this one. A disgusting like wasp nest texture inside it. It's absolutely nasty. It's absolutely disgusting. I will probably have to put like a warning or something. So it's absolutely disgusting. It's uncomfortable to look at and I think it's perfect thing to put into this Ooh Soft aesthetic journal. 